Boom! Welcome to another edition to Bluffers to Buffers. I'm Bob. And I'm Ben. And, um, yeah, look at that. Been a little while, hasn't it? Yes, but, yeah, we've had a few weeks off, haven't we? Well, I wouldn't say they've been off. Well, but, no, uh, obviously. So. I've forgotten how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> What we do, we talk over Oh, yeah, 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 no, I remember now. <laughs> right, so in this episode, yeah, what I've done is done playing some drum and bass down to make right. it a bit interesting. Nice. We're naming the station, official naming ceremony. Superb. As chosen by a YouTube viewer. Uh, I'm going to attempt to learn you about freeway points, Bobby. I know nice. you can't wait for that. I'm so excited. I, you know what, I thought you would be when I put this together, I thought... Of all of this, that's the bit Bob's going to enjoy the most. You were right. <laughs> <laughs> Show you what, nightmare, but we'll come Actually, to like that. Three it? points of view. Yes. Excellent. And uh, Is that also counting, controlling the points. We're going to be covering how we control the many, many points Lovely. on this layout um, by looking at that and pointing. Nice. It's good quality pointing, though. This looks funky. And we made what a mimic this? panel so we can tell oh. what's going on. This is what I've been dreaming of for the model railway. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's more of a nightmare. <laughs> okay, bit of uh, housekeeping, Bobby. Riley, um, what are we doing? A while back, we asked our intrepid viewers, is that the right word, to come up with a name for the lower station. That we did, didn't we? So, in an effort to get genuine mild peril, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to read out these names. Yeah. And then... We, you, me, we are going to choose a winner and reveal it to some people that watch this channel, OK? Did we get many names? We've got a few. I'll read them out to you now. Okay. And then we'll choose between us and then we'll do like a, a reveal. OK? So we've got a short list and an overall long list. So <laughs> some of these actually got seconded and thirded as well. So Really? Right. I don't know where to start. Right, let's go. We've got Dog Bree St. Leonard. <laughs> See what they did there, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Biffins Bridge got a couple of votes, actually. Yeah. For the uh, benefit of the viewers, Bob tilted his head to one side. I, I think it's an obvious, maybe, thing to call it. Okay. I don't know. Uh, Dangler's End. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> That's quite interesting. <laughs> this this one bordering on. I think on... they kind of know where we're going yeah, from. This well, one, yeah. <laughs> this next one's bordering on sensible. Bluffers Parkway. Ah, yeah. I actually quite like that one. It's very grown up, isn't it? Yes. Uh, we've got Old Scrotham. <laughs> <laughs> we've got West Scrotham <laughs> with the hard T. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I like that one already. Yeah, go on. Lower Frosty Knob. <laughs> Crinkle Knob Station. <laughs> Misty Lane. Misty Lane. Chuffing Hell. Durite Station. Mm. Forgot My Stop. <laughs> uh, lower Sack End. Right. And Lower <laughs> Sack Halt. <laughs> I like the halt. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, okay. So uh, that's, that, that was one suggested by our uh, viewers. Thank you very much, everyone, who got involved in that. Yeah, well done, folks. Um, so we are going to honour our promise and reveal the name of the lower station. What do you reckon? We, we get to choose? Yeah, well, that's the whole point. I, I'm between these two. Okay. What are you thinking? I think that one you'd probably get away with. Yeah. <laughs> I think we can... Yeah, all right, let's... Okay, so... <laughs> do you want to... You were going to do a little... Uh, I was not going to do a reveal. Reveal. And the winner is... That kind of thing. Yeah. Should we do that? Yeah. And the winner is... Da, 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 da. West Croton with a hard T. <laughs> <laughs> there we have it. <laughs> The name for the lower station. Thank you again, everyone who got involved. Um, there is still time to name the incline as well, so let's not forget we did about that. As well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, wow. there we go. Oh, happy days. 
Right, on to the next bit. Yeah. That was exciting, wasn't it? I was just thinking that myself, <laughs> how exciting all that was. Yeah. <laughs> it, what, talking of exciting. Yeah. Here three way points. I know you've been right. like really, really excited about this since I mentioned it earlier. But let's get straight into it. Look, crikey, I didn't think about this minute. So you need two point motors for your three way points. Really? Yep. Um, and they've got to work in a specific combination, those point motors. It took me a while to work this out. So point one mo point motor one and two on takes you to the left, as indicated just now. Point one off, I can't even remember what it says, it's overtaken, is it? But basically what it says on the screen yeah. is the order in which you've got to have the switch. There's a setting. Is this for polarity reasons? Polarity reasons, because it powers the frogs and also the way it sends the loco. Okay. So, um... I don't think I've ever seen a freeway point. Well, uh, Steve uh, Neville Grove, who designed the layout, originally specced um, what are called asymmetric points, which are code 75 track, which means they're not equal. The, the turnout's not equal, and yeah. they're a better point. However, track shortage, blah, 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 means we've had to use these code 100 ones, which are a bit more of a pain in the bum. But the, the, the thing is, you can't, this is the awkward setting, straight ahead is awkward because you have point motor one on and point motor two off. Now if you accidentally switched it the other way around, you're going to have cross polarities and what have you. Yeah. And I had a nightmare getting my head into this, so what I had to do was draw on a bit of paper, point motor one on, point motor two on, goes to the left, point motor one off, goes straight ahead, and then vice versa for the right, to actually get my head into how this works. It took me a little while, because I wasn't sure if I was talking nonsense or what have you. Um, but Was there a little bit of trial and error? There was a lot of trial <laughs> and error, but this is definitive. So obviously our talking has kind of missed the point there, because I pre-edited this, but it's all on screen. But it's a handy guide if you go with the sequence I've done. Obviously, this isn't point motor one and two. This is something like 14 and 15. Right, OK, because that's what you've named it. The, the address for the digital yeah. um, thing. But which is where I confuse myself, actually. But <laughs> it doesn't matter. But ultimately, it's got two point motors. As long as you can think of them, that they're working in that order and you make a note somewhere that it doesn't work the other way around, you're, you're halfway there. So, I've got my point motors back from DCC Concept Bob, all fixed, lovely jubbly. So, but you were chuffed. Oh, no so, you did there, were so you? what I was able to do is finish all of the point motors on the lower level, and I haven't recorded every single one of them. I've just done this one. Hallelujah. This is <laughs> this is all work underneath the boards because they're yeah. you know they're static fixed. So and the magic screws that no screwdriver fits. Oh, hello. Hello. They're a nightmare. When you're working upside down, you're getting very angry at everything hot. because get hot. Yeah, yeah your screw yeah. fires off. And you don't want. <laughs> so a technique I found is pop two screws in, slot the motor in place, and then put that third one in. Have you not tried the, the, these screws where nothing fits? Mm. We've both bought a little kit. I've tried. To try and it. None of them fit. The, the one that comes closest is that snap-on one. A posi drive. Well, yeah. Well, it's because it's quite. Sh it's not got a deep got hole. A tip yeah, it. which is quite a flat tip. Yeah. But the problem with that is because it's quite a big screwdriver you can't there's one of the places you can't get the actual screwdriver into which is why right. I only ever use three screws gaffer tape and cable size next time yeah um but yeah, so straightforward wiring, you've got the put the red, the black, and then your frog power, which is the green, which is your third thing. Interestingly, going back to the freeway points, because you have to mount them facing each other, this is where it also gets tricky. You have to, which is why it's a bit of a pain, because the point motors are facing each other, you've got to swap the red and the black. So red might be in one, black might be in two. You've got to swap it round, because otherwise the polarity is all wrong, which makes it even more confusing. <laughs> So what I've tried to do, here is the lower level, which is what we've been working on, is make it so that when you press a switch for, say, you know, one thing, it doesn't just operate one set of points, it kind of operates a whole so lane. It does a complete loop. Well, it, so it does two sets of points, and right. this is, I've had loads of working out, right? As you can see, it started off as a scribble. But what I wanted was to say, press 
number four and it activates one lane press turn point motor four off and then it opens up the next lane which is kind of what we have done here so with this e can you preset so a number would actually do multiple things yeah so that number's just done those two points which means the diesel can go wander out um and then in a minute I press turn those points off and it closes that lane and opens the next one for so rather than having to go through loads of point motors you know one two three four five six seven like eight you would do on a analog layout potentially yeah short each one out yeah, so yeah. Can all shut. yeah it's not foolproof this is still hence why we had to do a mimic panel as well but in my mind it's just made it that little bit simpler because that DCC concept switch panel that you saw is Alpha Central, I think it's called. You, it's, you literally plug it in to the, the the wiring bus, so two wires in. You click the switch down on the first set of points, push the button for number one, move the switch back, and that's your point set to number one switch. And then you, it just does it concurrently, and then you add another panel for the next twelve, and blah blah blah. So, Could you going forward, mm. if you wanted to run a layout like, yeah. and you had preset things that you know work, yeah. could you set that say to a number? 15, yeah, click that, and that would set all the points in the right position. Yeah. If you then run that, you could, page. you could, but it's not always that simple because right. some of these um, lanes have got a sequence of points leading into them, right? Okay, um, but essentially, you can if it's just a, a, you know, a sequence of points, yeah, 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 okay, but just for me to operate it I just thought I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible so if I can just press one button that makes some lights light up somewhere and tells me that that's made that bit of track work wait until you get all the signals that got to move as well. um, I don't even know know about signals I've, <laughs> I've asked I've asked our man Steve and he is you know he's tried to help me bless him but it's a dark art so I think the ultimately the signals are just going to be definitely on a signalman's course yeah. to find out where all the signals should yeah. be but so with those points open that can now run the loop as often as you like you know it's, it can go Weird. if you want so yeah I think we're, we're, we're cracking on with the functionality of, of, the, of the layout so obviously working from those drawings was only going to be so good for so long so I wanted to make a mimic panel, which in itself, for someone like me that doesn't really know anything about model railways, was a nightmare, especially with a lower level as complex as this one. I dread to think how I'm going to manage with the top level. But it took a couple of weeks of looking at this, drawing it out. Um, but before I get to that bit, I've run away with myself here. So this is the plan. Yeah. Again, going back to what I said about breaking it down into sections, um, you want to, for the amount of point motors I've got, I wanted to have a minimum amount of switches. So I didn't want to have to do one switch for every point motor. So on this bit here, you'll see we've got a three-way point, um, goes into a crossover there, which goes into another point. So you've got potentially five point motors. Um, I'm talking slowly because our video is lagging here. What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was sort of out. No, no, so there we go. <laughs> so as you can see, if you wanted to take that route, you would yeah. have five point motors to switch essentially, which will be demonstrated now. This is good, this, isn't it? Yeah, five yeah, point motors. Okay. There we go. But I wanted to break that down to as few point motors as I could. So we've got that one is switched by one switch. Those two are switched by switch two. And those two are switched by switch three. So we've reduced two switches. This reminds me a lot of like a, maybe an 80s educational electronics. That is exactly. Video. Like when they used to roll the screen into the classroom. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's watching a video. Yes, I'm going to get on them big screen. <laughs> As you can see here, with all those switched on, we've got our route. Yeah. The route takes you off, out. With all those switched off, it's a straight you've got bypass. three different routes. Okay, yeah, cool. So it kind of makes it a bit simpler. 
definitely to my mind. Sort of, hey, you said it. Yeah. Music. Did you make this? That is something I made with my set, my hands, my own hands. The LEDs are. DCC concepts again and their alpha mimic what does that say lower, lower uh, level in a you've fancy actually done that yeah yeah I made that man. and I've actually put it on the wall so I can see it and they light than... up yeah yeah oh, I'm impressed by that thanks mate yeah. <laughs> I had nightmares with it though because <laughs> Some it's on a bit of plasterboard or something. Uh, it's on a bit of plastic card and it's just paper stuck to it, to be honest. In the oh, fullness right. of time, I'll probably get it like an acrylic board. But I wanted to make sure it worked before I spent any money on stuff that was... You know. Wow, you made that. I know. <laughs> I even designed it as well. Which is Good. why it probably doesn't make any sense to anyone watching this <laughs> that knows about modern <laughs> railways. But it makes sense to me. But that's all that matters. Um, but I wanted it wall mounted so I could look at it and see it, or see what I'm doing. So it's on an A3 sheet of paper. I designed the actual thing in uh, Photoshop, I think, or in design. Um, so those LED now, will they light up in correspondence to yeah, what's so open and shut? We'll see in a minute. When I click the switch on one route, it will say, right, like, this way's go, this way's... So the light... Does that run off of the controller or it's off a, of the track? It runs... It's all... Because it's all talks to itself. Yeah. It's all DCC concept stuff. Again, literally, so you... For the... Um, corresponding to point motor one you plug the LEDs into number one on this little box of tricks that you get with it right you probably have to switch them back round the other way again if they're the wrong way round so you push one and it's on one of them lights up and the other is out and then you push it off and it switches them round Right, okay. However, I, this past weekend I wasted many an hour because I tried to I used some extension wires that they do. If someone somewhere has wired, has put the connectors on the wrong way round. <laughs> Literally, I was minutes away from setting fire to the whole <laughs> kit and caboodle because it didn't matter what I did, it was all going, happening in opposite. And I couldn't work it out. because the connectors have been put on back to front. Yeah, so the polarity of the wires, little bit known to me, I'm plugging it in one end and then the other, and it's doing the exact <laughs> so opposite. Someone's proper mugged you off. Yeah. It was li it's only because I was looking at the wires, well, that one's red and that one's black, and then all of a sudden it switched round. If I hadn't spotted that, it literally, this, it would have been an end to this. I'd have set fire to it, and we'd have got on with something else. <laughs> Hours wasted. But there you go. It's a good job I spotted it. Wow. Um, so I've sped this up now because it's not really... But That's plenty sweet. of LEDs. And it is literally a case of... See? <laughs> but it's literally a case of plugging it into the corresponding number on your panel. So I know previously we spoke about what numbers I've given or addresses I've given various point motors. We've started all over again now. Number one is the one that goes up the gradient, two, three, four, five, and then when we get to the top level, it will just carry on from yeah. whichever number it is. I think it's 14 down there. Um, but yeah, installation is real simple, which is why I like it. <laughs> Literally, you wire in your red and your black, or your two wires from your same bus that you wire to the track. Yeah. And plug them in. Once you've found the right size screwdriver, Bob. So when you press the thing on your, your control panel, that lights up to tell yeah. you what's open and shut. Basically, yeah. The, because of the global pandemic, there's a bit of a sh shortage of, well, they, you know, they didn't have in stock. So I'd have liked to have had red slash green LEDs, so it was red when it was closed, but green when it was open. Yeah. They only had these in stock, and I wanted to crack on because I'm impatient. So that's what I've done a buy on. Nice. Oh, it's just it's come on such a long long way isn't it yeah well see I was going to do an actual update on the scenic area in this one but I figured people have probably already turned off by this point <laughs> <laughs> a terrible explanation of three way point how does a three way point work Bob? You, do the, you press the button that does the thing and then the train goes through but you need to make sure that's on one and that's on two if you want to go straight through the middle Exactly. What happens if they're the wrong way around? The polarity's wrong and the train goes bang and then there's a fire. That's almost exactly what it's <laughs> 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 They're doing a massive wheel spin. 
I think it just falls off or goes on fire. Like, what I should have done is. I bet it makes that horrible electrical sound where a motor's trying to do something but it won't actually do well, it. Well, no, because. Because of that reason, Don't shorting out. Oh, Don't ruin it. It makes a really annoying beeping sound. Like it? a scale electric car when it's stuck on the track. <laughs> it doesn't actually go anywhere. <laughs> doesn't do that, I'm oh, afraid. What a shame. Uh, no, it makes a really annoying beeping sound when it shorts out. See, that's, that's plugged up. in. Look, I think in a minute, I should have sped this up. It gives us time to have a little chat, doesn't it? Does that do like the numbers in the countdown conundrum? It does, yeah. Awesome. Rachel Riley turns up. Really? Yeah. What a touch. Yeah. Be <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> can see why you're really into this modelling malarkey now. Yeah. See, we're going to do a little demonstration now. Look, so I said about just plugging it into number one. I'll tell you what, yeah. though, trying to unplug them doesn't half hurt your fingernails. Are they like really tiny? Tiny, yeah. <laughs> My thumb sore because I had the amount of unplugging I had to do them stupid connectors. The lights come on. Yeah. It was the wrong one though. Oh. So I moved it. It's that simple. Struggling a bit there. To be See fair. what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> this hobby is not. You don't like fiddly things. No, this really. hobby is not for people who. Are nothing's happened. You plugged it. And nothing's happened. Well, because that line's not go, isn't it? Oh. Mm. Oh, so you, no light for. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. No likey, no likey. Yeah, I'd have liked it to switch red when it was right, like yeah, no access okay. or whatever. But um, alas, it was not to be on this occasion. Look at that! Look. Yeah, so you <gasps> switch in. Do you know what I mean? I what what more? I did. Off camera, didn't you? What more could <laughs> a girl ask for? <laughs> Funny enough, the boy who came in the shed this weekend and he spotted that on the wall because it had been in for a couple of weeks. He's like, what's that? I said, don't, talk, he, he, don't talk to me about that. <laughs> really as impressed as I am. Get it. out. <laughs> 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 but no, it's a, it's a massive help having that now because... And it does look quite tricky, to be fair. I was forever allowed like, to get down, see which point was where, so you could work out. Just to have something going round was about a 20 minute job to set and work out what point was in what direction. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a massive relief. It's still, I I'll be honest, I haven't quite finished wiring it up because I want some wires that aren't the wrong way round. Right. <laughs> Well, what have you had to leave? You had to cut the ends off and... Re no, no, I gave it up. So basically, as as it stands... The so you had some the right way round? Yes, so I had enough to do half of it. Oh, what a nightmare. Yeah. I, was, I thought that the weekend I'll get the other half done so it's done and dusted. I can live with it for a bit and if it all works okay, get it done in acrylic. But alas, it was not to be. Um... But still plugging things in there. It's still, it's only the third one. <laughs> <laughs> Lights come on. Can you imagine the <laughs> anger I was feeling having to do that over and over again and still not getting any further? <laughs> can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah, I can. You know what I mean? So there it is up on the wall. Press number one, light switches. Boom. Wow. Press number one again, and it's changed. It's that simple. So now I know the route is okay there. Look, whoa, whoa. See? Did you see that? Wow. That, that means it's going to be a crash, surely. No, it can't be a crash. <laughs> <laughs> and that, Bob, is pretty much this episode of Bluffers to Buffers. How do you feel about that? I feel... One, I'm, I'm amazed that you managed to make that board thing look so good. So well done. Yeah, thanks. Man. And I'm sorry to hear that you had such a frustrating time with your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, if you, if you, <laughs> my thumb, your thumb, my thumb is in just peril. a world of pain. It's in peril. A world of pain. So I think this is the point where we're supposed to be saying, please, you know, subscribe. Yes. If this hasn't bored like. you to tears, I don't know how we get away with it, Bob. Because I it, 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 when I edited that up, I thought this is going to be really informative. You know, I've put loads of effort into the edit beforehand. It's going to make sense. And now we've done it. I don't think it makes any sense. 
at all. Well, I think the people that are trying to learn about this are better off watching watch another them. channel. <laughs> <laughs> However, you know, for someone like myself who literally has no idea what you're doing, yeah, it's and me. It was pretty boring, but mm. Mm. I'm, I'm glad to be part of it. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Well, there you, know, you go. Like, like, comment, subscribe, follow, press the ding dong button, and whatever. Yeah, and um, yeah, thanks to everyone for getting involved in the competition. Yeah, well done. And um, thanks to everyone who has subscribed. Um, yeah, we will uh, uh, next. We won't be so long with the next update. I've already filmed Remember most the of scenic it. Scenic stuff. Yeah, the next update is a layout update to see how we're Sorry. getting on. Now we, we can. Now we've got a name that's out there. Excellent. We can crack on. So I've done some good progress. But anyway, thanks again, guys, and catch you next time. Ciao. Peace out. Bye. What are you got for dinner tonight? <laughs> Probably gonna go Burger King, mate. Nice, nice. After talking about that earlier. Yeah.